my channel I'm Ronzoni and this is Ronzoni Beats in Life. Today we're going to look at Ableton and Serato Sample and how I use Serato Sample to ch chop a beat in Ableton uh, and then I use all of Ableton's tools to make drums and add percussion and instruments and this is the process I've done for my past album, my EP. I'll link it below. Please check it out on Spotify. Give me a follow there and this tutorial it's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to go through everything I could possibly think of. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so here's my default Ableton template. Uh, I have a drum rack for drums, obviously a chops group that I use with my favorite plugins ready. And then I have a chops track in that group, which I will duplicate as I make more chops. Uh, the source track is for the samples that I record so that Serato sample uh, I use them in Serato Sample, but I leave them in the source so they're not deleted. To record in Ableton, you need to set inputs and outputs. Uh, I usually have my input and my output set to my audio interface when I'm at home. And I'm going to record to this track, and I would turn monitor off in that case because otherwise you'll get a double signal. Um, if you're not at home, which I actually do a lot of work out of my studio, I have a little A little launch pad. There's my big launch pad, a little launch pad. Uh, I used that when I was traveling in Seoul, uh, in Korea, and I made a lot of beats. That's what I made my beats on. So, um, anyway. When I do that, I use Black Hole. Uh, Black Hole is a uh, program that's free. I'll put the link below. It works just like Soundflower used to for older Mac OS Xs. Um, this is the newer version. It works for newer Mac OS Xs. Uh, so when you do Black Hole, then you want to put monitor as auto uh, or in. In means that you're always going to hear it. So if you're trying to find a sample, then you know you want to hear your computer's audio so you would set monitor to in and that's what I'm talking about here in okay so I'm gonna just record some okay so here we have our now we have our sample and we're gonna try we're gonna use it in Serato sample the gains a bit low if you try to adjust it here uh, it will play back louder as a clip but um, not in Serato sample It'll the wave file looks small and you won't be able to see the chops. So you can assign an editor in um, yeah in preferences under file folder preferences sample editor and I'm using this program called Ocean Audio. It's an amazing program. It's free, uh, but you can donate and I suggest doing so to support because I love this program. Uh, so I just normalized, not sure you can do that in um, Ableton, I don't think you can, like I said, maybe I said that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you can loop, you can cut, paste, everything, and then when you're done, you save it and quit, get back to Ableton. That program even supports VSTs, I haven't dug that deep, but... Uh, yeah, all right, so on to the next step, which is, well, first we're gonna disable this clip here so you don't hear it when you play back by accident. Uh, you can turn that off too, but I always disable it here in case I solo and unsolo. Um, so let's launch up Serato sample and then show this in the browser. So like I was saying before, uh, chop one, you want to keep these source files here because when I drag and drop this, it's just a path to a file. Uh, anyway, so back to Serato sample. Here we are. We're going to arm this track. Uh, I have this Novation controller. It's new. I think it's still got the sticker on it here. Um, I'm just getting the hang of it, but 
you know, if you don't have one, you can use a keyboard. Well, first, sorry, let's get our chops ready. Uh, open up the grid. And if you hit back, tick, tilde. <laughs> starts to play and you can hear that the tempo has been adjusted I'm gonna zoom in a little bit let's start here and we're gonna do set samples if you never used Serato before set random obviously it's random find samples is going to find based on transients and the Serato sample algorithm set slicer just sets it based on what you have set as the I'm out. So I have quarter notes right here. Set slicer. And zoom in, I guess. It doesn't matter too much. Okay, we've got our basic chops. MIDI, same thing. I'm an octave high. Z and X to adjust your octave. So either way, I mean, I use my laptop keyboard when I'm at the cafe. All right, next we're going to dig into sort of sample features. Okay, so now we got our chops. Uh, I like these. These chops are pretty good. I. Just bumped the tempo up when I was off the screen, but uh, I bumped it up to 96. Uh, when I'm when I'm playing chops to just to feel them out, I put on this continuous play mode, and I, I found some good chops. Um, and I like this key here. Um, so once that's set, I'm gonna lay down the uh, the MIDI. Nice. So let's look at the MIDI. Here we go. I started a little late. I have my quantize setting set to a quarter. Makes it easy. I want to use that quarter note at the end there. Few other things in Serato sample time stretch can save you. Uh, as you see, like this chop right here, it has kind of a little bit of a at the end, um, so maybe let's slow it down. And then when we play it on the beat, you can see that it doesn't play that little bit at the end. Slow it down more just to exaggerate so that that's that's awesome that could save you other features they're all self-explanatory level per chop filter per chop attack per chop release um, you can favorite things to keep your favorites there and try and keep everything in one plug-in um, what I usually do is what I'm going to show next so I go to the next group and if I want to have more chops on my Serato sample then in my song. Um, maybe I want to add chops from here. And then I'll hit set slicer. And then I'm on to the next set. That was a bad example because I ran out of room. But let's, uh, let's undo. Let's say I want to get this bit. So go to here. And now drums, got a drum rack, I got a kit here, 
Chronicles of Grit Volume 2 from Just Jared. I'll link that below. I mean, they all sound good, right? Let's do that. And snares. Okay. Quickly just drop all the notes. take a percussion loop. Uh, I never really used to use loops, but uh, I'm going to do one of his live hat loops. It's just so easy in Ableton to do it. So I love adding my own perk to the uh, percussion instruments to to the song. So let's give that a shot. All right. So I don't know if there's latency, but I am off. So I'm going to go right to the beginning. Crop the sample. Nice. So fun to do that. And then if you really want to be nitpicky and tweak your recording, you can go in and adjust these chop markers. Uh, warp markers, they're, they're awesome. I love warp markers. Uh, you can just manipulate any sample. All right, so that's it. This is a great plugin. Uh, I have a ratio set too high though. You can see how it. Has a lot of character. Output gain. just a little bit on my samples to add character okay, thanks for watching that's a wrap for the video please hit subscribe and like and I'll be back with more content soon in the meantime take care